Well, thank you for joining. It's a simple thing I ask. Working with clients, working with businesses. It's about people. It's about your aspirations. It's about understanding actually what you want. More time, more money, more profits, grow the business. However you build it up. Now, the one thing that becomes more apparent is that the majority of people don't know. And we talk about this in, in the politest sense of the form. You're a business owner. In most cases, you've got no degrees, you've been at school, you know, you've got no real qualifications. But yet the people you want to employ, you want them to have qualifications. But anyway, let's take a step back. You're a business owner. So in theory, you do finance, you do marketing, you do advertising, you do business services, you do tax, you do accounts. All of that, business development, the whole lot, all in one thing. And you genuinely believe you can do it all without asking for help. It don't work. That's why your business hasn't grown. Your business isn't developing. So fundamentally, it comes back to what is your aspirations? Do you want more time? Do you want more money? Now, this year, it's part of me giving back. I'm quite happy where I am. I'm quite successful with what I do. And it's about giving back. It's about empowering you. So the books that I've got on Kindle, they're just top tips books, but they empower you. And when I go and do some mystery shops and I go in and see clients, I'm trying to give them the empowerment to say, look, this is what you're trying to achieve. The window on the world. Looking out at your customers, understanding who your customers are, where your customers are and advertise to them. The majority of time you've got so wrapped up in your business, your hands are in the clay, you've lost sight of where the business is, whether you're growing the business. And everybody says, oh yeah, I had a little bit of growth last year. You've got to grow to stand still. The difference being is your competitors are engaging people like me to go in and go, how does my business look, sound and feel? What are the customers thinking about it? Have we got brand ambassadors? Are we advertising in the sporting world? Are we advertising in the right way? Are we growing our business? Not 10% isn't good enough. 10% is just to keep your head above water. And I use this analogy at the weekend. Imagine you are in a pond drowning. 10% growth. Oh, I'm happy. No, you've grown 10% taller. Water levels here. You've grown 10% taller. You're still drowning in the pond. You've got to grow 10% just to keep your mouth above the water. The water's coming in and all the businesses are coming in. You're not actually growing. You haven't got your arms out. You haven't got the wings out. You haven't asked somebody to rescue you. So it's a stupid analogy. You are drowning under all the work you've got. The smart people will start talking to consultants. The smart people will start thinking outside the box. The smart people will go, whoa, I can't do all this. I need a coach. I need a consultant. I need brand development. And bring somebody in. Have a mystery shop. Understand the window. Understand what the customers view, what the customers are saying about you. You want more time, more money, more profits, more revenue. You want more family time. You want more social time. You want to be bigger. You want to be better. If you've got all that and you need to be better in the community, better in social standings, then we can work on advertising and marketing and building your persona up and your personal brand, getting you involved in collaborations. But understand when you build a house, and you love my analogies, the builder builds the house. The sparky does the sparks. The carpenter does the carpentry. Different people do different jobs to build the house. Very rare that one person builds a house, does all the electrics, does all the interiors. Making a house a home is something completely different. So just bear that in mind. Are you doing everything or would you be more beneficial taking on a consultant to come in and go look this is step one this is step two well part of this little video I had a lovely chat with fellow consultants over the weekend and we're going to put a, a course together and we're going to try and empower businesses to, to come along 
and we're going to have some workshops and we're going to say, right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make it a step plan to success. Understanding the window, understanding the message that you're putting out. I'm going to do a couple of podcasts this year with a good friend of mine, John Cassidy Rice, and we're going to talk about how NLP and how language can help you develop and can help you improve personally. Talk to your staff, talk to your customers and understand the timeline of growth for what you want, what your business wants to give you more time, more freedom, more financial independence, but also make the business do its own thing. A business is its own entity. It's its own baby. You've heard you, you've heard me say that many times, but there comes a point you stop taking the baby out for a walk. It goes out on its own. It starts growing up to a teenager and a, an adolescent and it forms its own way. You still guide it and manage it. We get that. But it comes back. There's so many books on the market. We're reading them all the time. And what we're finding as fellow consultants is that people are getting lost. People are getting, they're drowning. They're, yeah, I'm 10% better. I'm 10%. They're not. So we're just going to try and build a timeline, a framework of going, right, let's concentrate on this. The brand, the image, the customer experience, the way you look, the way you're seen and the way you sound to your customers. Let's get this in place. Let's talk about business development, business growth. So basically, keep watching, stay in touch, because over this next year, we're going to build this course this workshop where you can come in buy into our experience and our knowledge we've got some top people going to come in and do this and we're going to take you forward empower you to do the right thing doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do take care have a good day catch you up soon